Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sasrikal. Welcome back to another session with your Vashaf at Varevar.com. Every one of you, even without knowing, must have eaten mayonnaise sauce. You will see it being used in burgers and in one very popular coleslaw salad. But I am very sure few of you must have tried hollandaise. Even if you have tried, it might be that you don't know what it is made of. It might have been served as a derivative sauce like mayonnaise. Hollandaise sauce is an emulsion. That is exactly what I told you when I made mayonnaise. The subtle difference is that in mayonnaise we use oil. In hollandaise we use melted butter to emulsify with yolks. And mayonnaise is a cold sauce where hollandaise is a warm sauce. It is considered the difficult of all sauces. Let's see how difficult it is. Even if you are not going to make this hollandaise sauce, knowledge is not bad. So today we will make another mother sauce that is hollandaise. First thing is take a yolk without any whites in it. Now add lemon juice or lime juice and also add one tablespoon of water. Take a whisk and whisk this good. See what happens is whisking this with little water and uh, lemon juice helps in emulsification later. To make this sauce we are going to use double boiler. Double boiler is you are going to put a saucepan in which there is water on which we are going to put another pan and then we are going to make hollandaise sauce in this. The purpose of this is you want this bottom to be little bit warm so that we can make this sauce. Now switch off the flame for your double boiler because see if you are a novice, if you are new to this method of preparation, you are going to curdle your hollandaise sauce. So switch off the bain mari that way there is going to be very little heat that is hitting this egg yolks. Now take melted butter and add very little at a time. The heat from the bottom will help in this emulsification. Just wait for few seconds after you add the butter so that the warmth from the bottom hits this uh, sauce. Now you can see that it is good, it is emulsified nicely. Add more butter and make sure the butter is also slightly warm, you know, but not hot. And when you melt butter, if there is any froth, you can remove it off. And add some more. Okay. Guys, watch out. There is warm water down there. And I am using this as a double boiler. Because this sauce is supposed to be warm. So, keep it at such temperature that you are able to emulsify without curdling. It is looking good. Keep adding butter slowly and keep whisking it. But how much butter to add? For one egg yolk, approximately 85 ml of uh, butter. If you add more than that, it will curdle. Now you see this emulsification is happening and slightly the sauce is thickening also. At the same time, I am able to add butter into this. But also make sure that it is still warm underneath. If you think the bain mari is getting cold, switch on the flame just for few seconds and switch it off. That way, you will be maintaining the warm temperature that we need to make this sauce. But don't let the water underneath boil. If it boils, your hollandaise sauce will curdle. So, now you can see my hollandaise sauce is coming perfect. I am going to add more butter into it. Now, I have used up the entire butter, approximately 85 ml of butter. Now, we are going to season it with a little salt and pepper powder. In fact, you can also use uh, cayenne pepper or chili powder also if you want to make it look little bit colorful. Add salt, pepper powder. Now the sauce is almost ready. Now look at this hollandaise sauce. It looks perfect. It's thickened. You know, usually when we do it in the hotels, we do it in a steel pan like this. But I wanted you to see very clearly, that's why I used my non-stick pan to make this. Now this uh, hollandaise sauce is perfect. Look at it. Yummy. How creamy and silky it looks. Doesn't it look like a very fine yellow custard? Wow. When you make this sauce perfect, the flavor should be rich and buttery with a mild tang added with the lemon juice and the seasoning. It must be made and served warm not hot. This hollandaise sauce is typically served with steamed asparagus, vegetables 
or even steamed or grilled seafood, especially grilled fish. I love it with grilled fish. Now we got this perfect hollandaise sauce. The temperature of the water here is everything because if there is too much heat, the eggs will scramble or overcook. On the other hand, if the water is not hot enough, the sauce may separate. Therefore, this has to be a slow and steady process that cannot be rushed. The second important step is the adding of butter. This must be done very little at a time while continuously whisking it because if you add too much butter at a time, the sauce will not thicken and it will curdle. And the third important thing is you cannot add as much butter as you want. You have to limit it to around 85 ml per egg yolk. Hollandaise sauce is considered to be the sauce for exclusive people. Once you get addicted to this sauce, you will keep making and having this sauce very often. But remember, people say that this is a very tough sauce to make. But if you follow my simple procedures, I'm sure you will be able to make it very easily and I'm sure you will get addicted to this Hollandaise sauce. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed today's session of learning how to make this Hollandaise sauce with your wash chef. But remember, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.